this afternoon because it's not every day you have the lieutenant governor with us, but guess what we do? Antonio Delgado spending some time with us. This was your first stop at the fair, so thank you for yeah. stopping here first. Of course, you had to go to the best place at the fairgrounds, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Start here first, you know? Excited to be here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so thank how you. many years have you actually stepped onto the fairgrounds for the Great well, New York State Fair? This is my second year in a row, um, and I was uh, became lieutenant governor last year. <laughs> Uh, this is one of my initial stops as well, um, and I'm happy to be back for, for a second year in a row. And we were just talking about the thing that takes you from one side of the yes. midway to the next. That was a one and done for you? I think it was. You know, I'm not, I'm not big on heights. Uh, I got a good look, uh, you know, aerial view, one and done, but it was fun uh, for, that, for that time. And, and I'll, you know, stop yeah. with that. That's yeah. all you needed. Yeah, I'm good. Well, I want to ask you, how do you think that you can help grow the state fair to kind of incorporate other sections of the state? Well, I think it's important first to note that the fair is an amazing draw. I think mm -hmm. we're going to expect about over a million or so folks uh, coming through this year. Uh, it's a real gem, and we have to do more to make sure that we are uh, enticing people from all over the state and yeah. the world, for that matter, um, the country, uh, to, to come here. Uh, I know the governor recently launched uh, a proposal uh, asking folks to submit a proposal for marketing and advertising uh, to do more to make sure that folks know about all that fair has to offer. So I think once we get that moving along as well, uh, it'll be successful. All right, let's get a few more serious questions out of the way and then we'll get to the fun. Where do you see your role in unifying the country and the state, really? I think a big part of this is trying to make sure that we have dialogue and really get back to listening to each other. Uh, I think we've gotten into a rut in terms of siloed communication. There's a lot of misinformation and manipulation with social media. Um, and just the ways you can reinforce just one point of view without having really important conversations. And we learn we're forgetting what it means to actually listen to each other, truly listen. And yeah, not I just think, hear, but Not listen. just hear, but actually process the information and do the work of finding that commonality first. We go into the discussion sometimes prejudging and mm -hmm. knowing what we want to say without knowing what the other one wants to say. And, and I think we do that work. Uh, as the chair of the Hate and Bias Prevention Unit, um, I take personal responsibility uh, to make sure that I get to every corner of the state, uh, bring folks together with different points of views, and try to encourage them to speak from the heart with love uh, yes. and with compassion, with unity on their mind. The climate is a tough one right now. It's divisive. Uh, it's overly partisan and extreme. Uh, and I think leadership requires people to step up and to try to breathe better light into the atmosphere. And I take um, a real uh, commitment to that. I have a real commitment to that. And I want to do that work. And so certainly as the chair of the Hate and Bias Prevention Unit, that is a, a big focus of mine, uh, trying to lead uh, in that space. And of course, invest in our communities to mm -hmm. give people uh, hope for the future economically as well. All right, well, you talk about getting to every corner of the state. We know you're going to get to every corner of the fairgrounds. Yes. What are you most looking forward to getting to today? Well, there's so many things to get to, right? I mean, I, I think after here, I'm going to the police exhibit, and then there's the Veterans Memorial I'm going to go to as well. Uh, after that, I know, I think today is Beef Day. Sure all is. on the fair, so there's a supreme beef uh, uh, idea or, you know, competition going on. Yeah. Um, I think there's also the Pan-African Village I'm going to swing by. Um, you know, enjoy some food. So I'm going to hit a lot of different yeah. spots. You got a busy schedule. Busy well, we schedule. so appreciate you making Thank the time so to stop by News Channel 9. Lieutenant okay. Governor Antonio Delgado, we will be right back with another look at your forecast.